what are the influences behind your creation? The influences behind my creation, uh, uh, the mo most of it is pretty much like European um, fashion, uh, African fashion, those two back and forth, and like just traveling, traveling the world a lot. Can you tell me the inspiration around the upcoming launch for your collection, shoe collection? Our shoes? Mm -hmm. So we have some of them right there. The inspiration is pretty much telling a story between me and my business partner. Uh, my business partner's name is um, Jean Gilbert from Salon. He's from Haiti and I'm from Honduras. So people call me Illy. So it's Illy and Gilly the collection. So right now we're launching shoes and that's the first piece of our collection, which provides um, eight styles six um, tuxedo shoes and two dress shoes and they all have blue bottoms and the reason why they're blue bottoms is because of the Caribbean Sea which separates Haiti and Honduras and that's what actually ties our story together. As a man of color, what battle do you have have you faced as a designer in the industry? <laughs> Name them, there's plenty of battles um, especially being a black owned small business um, there's a lot of challenges that we, that we actually face um, we're actually competing with like these big head honchers, quote unquote, right? Like these big um, conglomerate companies. So people come in here and expecting um, things in huge bulks or asking for discounts. So these, these are things that we actually have to, um, you know, face and just, just deal with and just to let people know that, you know, we provide quality and like this beautiful um, Kentic cloth fabrics um, all in, um, from Africa. Um, these fabrics that we chose, we hand selected. And then Essence and a few of their publications wrote about us just because of like how we wore that and what we represented. Everybody in our, um, so we have, the team is consists of like about four or five of us. And I'm from Haiti, my business partner from Honduras. I'm from, I'm from Honduras, he's from Haiti. Um, our chief band officer, she's from Haiti as well. Our band ambassador is from Nigeria, our size from Trinidad. So we all have like these uh, backgrounds, Caribbean backgrounds, African backgrounds that just hold so much weight to our culture and who we are. In the headlines, um, Zane Dyer and Tima Hilfiger filled the runway with women of color from different generations. And how impactful do you feel that exhibit was for the fashion industry? I think that exhibit was amazing, right? Because that actually, um, that can that break barriers and that, that actually enhances the culture, right? And even throughout the diaspora, you can see how much beauty it turns into a runway and you can see it just by sitting down in front of you. So it's deep and it's just a close, but it's also the impact that it makes for the, the culture as, you know, as we grow in fashion or in politics, in medicine, um, in any industry. Even that's like one of the pieces that help the culture get stronger. How do you stay motivated? How do I stay motivated? I meditate. I meditate often. Um, I stay around positive people. Um, I find influences that keep me abrupt. So uh, a lot of podcasts, reading books, and just traveling, traveling the world, and just keep my family close. I read some. I read somewhere that you have a background in graphic design, and have you ever able to incorporate that skill into your career? <laughs> you guys do. Your, you guys do your research. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, always, always. I'm I'm updating the website every day. Um, I'm designing anything that we have to do with the marketing. I'm designing. I just sketch and design the shoes um, from the bottom. I just sketch the shoes from the inside, the soles, the boxes. Um, I sketch some of the, our, our jackets, our tuxedos, anything from the lookbooks. We have to send these lookbooks out to these companies where we're actually trying to be like the wardrobe people for like these shows. So I'm designing all of that stuff, media kits, the press kits, the business cards. It's, you name it, I'm designing it. And we save a lot, a lot of money because I design. That's awesome. What is next? What's next besides the shoes? Um, that's a great question because I'm someone's always someone's always asking me that. It's just just building a company. We're looking to get into these stores, um, but just you know highlighting our coats, you know. But we're just very picky about what store we want to select to to get into because a lot of these bigger companies um, they like to rate the smaller companies. So we want to make sure that we're actually um, you know profiling and understanding who's gonna who is, is gonna make sense for for us our coats to get into. Right, and then also for us to get a storefront. We have a storefront in Miami, uh, Miami Gardens, but we want to get a storefront uh, here in New York where it makes sense. So we've just been pitching around and looking to see what makes more sense for the entire company as overhead. 